Hi, welcome to the studio, Craig from Rose. Um, today we're going to actually start looking at uh, previous works that I've done. And I'd like to actually uh, today just concentrate on uh, the um, commission painting I did, I did of Tartipani O'Regan. Uh, so with each uh, commission, I start off with uh, a working drawing. So the working drawing depicts how I see the final painting looking. Um, so with Sir, with Sir Tippany or Tar Tippany, um, we have him standing with his tukutuku, uh, which is the stick, which is carved, which is very significant uh, to Maori leaders, or elders, I should say. Um, then we've got his cloak and uh, then his facial expression. So there's a lot of detail that has to work properly uh, with the drawing. So this then goes to um, uh, to the group that are commissioning the work. In this case, it was Naitahu, um for approval. Once the approval is, uh, is has been set, I then start the final painting. So it's a very very long process. Uh, I usually start with the background first. Uh, I choose uh, the colours that um, are going to be more beneficial to uh, the cloak that uh, Taitipani uh, is wearing, uh, his blue suit, um, and uh, the tukutu. From there, from the background, I then start working on the face. People quite often ask me what part of the face I work from. Uh, it is the eyes. The eyes, as many artists have said, uh, the, uh, the insight to the soul. So from that, if I get the eyes correct, I feel the painting coming to life. I feel as though um, the person is standing right there with me. Uh, it's sensitive uh, and at times can be quite um, ethereal, if I may use that word. From the eyes, we then start working on the color structure of the face. Um, now with all ethnic groups, changes of the skin pigment, uh, are very prominent. Most people have greens, blues uh, coming into their facial expression, especially around uh, this side of the face, where we have very close um, or very tight skin over veins. Uh, around the cheek area, we have a lot more red and crimson. Now, with a Maori or a Pacific Islander or a North American Indian, the colour again is changed or even um, to a very um, albino or uh, European face, who is very, who is white. Uh, again, the this, this skin is a little bit more transparent. So we're working through all these processes and problems and we have, um, on my palette, I work out exactly where I'm going with these colors. Hmm. So from the face, then we start working on the cloak, uh, which is a very important um, factor in the painting. Um, the cloak has a lot of uh, native bird feathers in it. Uh, we have the twi um, feather, which, uh, the, which is the white feather, which comes under the bill. Um, so we've got blues in uh, Tatipani suits. We've got the tiki, uh, the tokotoko. We've got uh, another bone structure of a whale, which also is prominent in the painting. So all these elements have to sit well and harmonize and not distract from the portrait, which of course is probably the most important part uh, of the subject matter. So hopefully this uh, has given you a little bit of a guideline on how I go about these paintings. Um, at a later stage, we'll probably talk about the treatment and the execution uh, of the oil and how I put them down.